power factor increment. The power factor of phase controlled converters, that is AC to DC converters, depends on the firing angle alpha, which is also known as delay angle. Generally, the power factor is low, especially at the low output voltage ranges. These converters generate harmonics into the supply. A forced commutation can improve the input power factor and reduces the harmonic levels. And this forced commutation can be achieved by using GTOs. GTOs can turn on by giving a short positive pulse to its gate, as in the case of a thyristor, and can turn off by giving a short negative pulse to its gate. The basic techniques of forced commutation for AC to DC converters are classified as extinction angle control, symmetrical angle control, pulse width modulation, sinusoidal pulse width modulation. Now we'll see in detail each of these techniques. Extinction angle control. In this technique, the output voltage is controlled by varying the extinction angle beta. We have a single phase force commutated semi-converter. We can see a two thyristors T1 and T2 and D1 and D2 is the diodes with the prevailing diode and the load. A supply of Vs equals to Vm sine omega t is given to the converter. Thyristors are replaced with the switches S1 and S2. So T1 is replaced by S1, T2 is replaced by S2, where this S1, S2 are nothing but GTOs. Omega t equals to zero, we can turn on the switch one. And when omega t equals to pi minus beta, we need to turn off the S1. Similarly, a T2 or S2 can be turned on at omega t equals to pi, turn off at 2 pi minus beta, where beta is the extinction angle. Let us consider a waveform. This is omega t equals to 0. And we have a beta here. Thyristor T1 can turn on here and turn off here. Then this will be the output voltage. Switch 1 is turned off at beta. Now switch 2 is turned off at beta. So this is our output. Redraw that output voltage. This is due to S1. This is due to S2. Again, S1 starts conducting. The output voltage remains between 0 and pi minus beta and pi to 2 pi minus beta. Then the current will be available when the voltage is available. This is IA, this is minus IA. This is IS. If you draw an average value of I0, it will be continuous. You can see the fundamental current is going to lead. So the fundamental input current leads the input voltage and the displacement factor is leading. Displacement factor is nothing but the power factor. In some applications, this feature may be desirable to simulate a capacitive load and to compensate for line voltage drops. The average output voltage V0 is given by 2 by 2 pi integral 0 to pi minus beta Vm sin omega t d omega t which is nothing but Vm by pi minus cos omega t limits between pi minus beta to 0. Now when you solve this, you are going to get V0 equals to Vm by pi 1 plus cos beta. This is the average output voltage. And this will be max equals to 2 Vm by pi when beta equals to 0. And this will be minimum 0 when beta equals to pi. Vrms 2 by 2 pi integral 0 to pi minus beta Vm square sin square omega t d omega t under the square root. Now if you solve this Vrms you are going to get as Vm by root 2 1 by pi pi minus beta plus sin 2 beta by 2 under the square root. This is our Vrms value. Now the single phase forced commutated full converter the circuit is are shown here the thyristors are replaced with the switches switches are nothing but GTOs S1, S2, S3 and S4. Each switch conducts for 180 degrees. Then switch S1, S2 are both operate from 0 to pi minus beta. 
whereas S3, S4 operate from pi 2 to pi minus beta. S1, S2 operated in positive half cycle and S3 and S4 operated in negative half cycle and this will be the output voltage for S1 and S2 and this will be the output voltage S3 and S4 as same as the semiconductor. If an inductive load is there, the freewheeling path for the load current must be provided by the switches of same arm. That is, the freewheeling supply will flow through S1, S4 at a time and S3, S2 at a time. And the firing sequence will be S1, S2, S1, S4, S4, S3, S3, S2. Firing sequence S1, S2, S1, S4, S4, S3, S3, S2. The freewheeling action is accomplished through two switches of same arm. When you compare the performance of extinction angle control with the phase angle control, performance is same for semi and full converters with extension angle and the phase angle control except the power factor is leading in extension control whereas power factor is lagging in phase angle control. And the output voltage, average output voltage, average RMS voltage are same 